Hi Taurus, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to Yonsa's Universe. Welcome back everyone. Thank you guys so much for coming back to see me, your new favorite tarot reader. You guys, this is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Sorry for the noise in the back. So, this is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, South Node, uh, Cross Watchers of Taurus. If I say you're doing this, feeling this way, and it's Taurus, flip it, okay? Um, you're just going to be Taurus for today because it's Taurus is reading. Taurus, same thing. If I say you're doing this or feeling this way and it's cross watch or flip it. Taurus, please check out your freaking weekend reading. Check out your Sunday spiritual messages. And Taurus, check out your July reading as well. I have a lot of um, readings that I've uploaded for you guys, okay? Taurus, this is journal, so it may or may not resonate with you. This is... Um, general so it could resonate in your love life your um romantic life family friends work life but this is your person's current feelings your person could either be an ex or somebody you're thinking about okay so we do have prideful coming out and then at the bottom of the deck because I, I saw it i have to say it spirit wants me to tell you we have coward could be dealing with a prideful person and it's because they are a coward okay what's going on for taurus or this is how they feel about you or how you feel about them so these messages um, could indicate who this person is, just give you some clarity, could have already happened, could be happening now, could happen later on in the near future, okay? Thank you for giving me clear, honest messages for Taurus. I'm open for personal readings. Check the description box to follow my social media, to donate to my cash app and grow our channel, okay? And everything you need is in the description box. We do have gaslighting. So this person feels like you gaslight them or you feel like they gaslight you. I'm afraid to be my true self. That's why they gaslight you. Or this could just be different energies. Someone gaslights, someone is afraid to be their true self. So whoever is afraid to be their true selves, they do this because they have been traumatized from all of this gaslighting. They're too afraid to be their true self. They're too afraid to express how they feel. They're too afraid to even say you know i'm i think you're going to disappoint me i'm afraid you're going to disappoint me whatever it is they're too afraid because of all of the trauma from being gaslighted lied to being stood up you know with gaslighting people tr gaslighting is say you are loosely involved with this person and they're making innuendos of y'all being together even though they have no intention of being with you, but they'll say little things like, I never said I didn't want to be with you. I never said we weren't together, but you never said we were. It's like that thin line of just keeping you stuck where you are, but not really giving you that full on commitment. What's going on? I'm sorry, y'all. Let me put on some meditation music for y'all. What the fuck? Okay, something's up with my phone. Let's keep going. Harsh communication, okay? So this person doesn't know how to communicate. They have very harsh communication. They say some mean, hateful things, and this is why you're too afraid to be true to yourself. Or this person is lost. This person is a coward, like I said, and they're too afraid to be their true self. So they put on this mask, and they really embody this mean, evil, awful person. This is who they've become. They've been being this person for so long. This is just who they are, and they're a narcissist. Okay, this person is no good. They're a narcissist. Okay, you can have money ties with this person. They have money ties somewhere else. So I'm hearing it's not my fault that your money got tied up there. Or it's not my fault you got your money tied up with this person or that person or some shit like that. There's money ties. And I don't know if you feel like you're stuck with them or if they feel like they're stuck with you. Okay, but coward came out again. I don't know who this is. I don't know if this is someone who goes around just being an asshole to people. But it's because they're insecure as fuck. Okay, someone is doing voodoo. It is good voodoo. It could be you. Okay? I don't know what you're doing voodoo for or what someone is doing voodoo for. But it says voodoo, good or bad. I'm sorry. Good or bad. My bad. My bad. I didn't even read it. It said voodoo, good or bad. So I don't. I don't fucking know. But I will protect myself, personally. Okay. Our connection did something to me spiritually, and I wasn't ready. 
So the connection did something to this person spiritually and they just were not ready. They weren't ready. They acted out in mean, hurtful, hateful ways. Okay. This person, this person is a, a coward. So yeah, when this deep, strong connection came, they're a coward. Of course it did something. Of course they weren't ready. Of course. <clears throat> yeah. What the fuck? It's just like a stray animal. If they're afraid, they're going to attack. They're not going to be nice. If they're afraid, they're going to attack. Okay, if they're afraid, they're going to do something to protect themselves. They're doing this to protect themselves. Okay, pay attention to the signs. This person is emotionally immature. Okay, you could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Who, who, there's a lot of people dealing with emotionally immature people. Who is this? Taurus, you could be dealing with the Pisces, Aquarius, Capricorn, Aries. Okay. You make me want to leave them. So somebody is with somebody else. And you make them want to leave the other person. Could definitely be dealing with the Pisces. Okay. If all of this isn't one storyline. <clears throat> someone is just a narcissist. Someone gaslights the other person. Or there is gaslighting in this situation. Someone is too afraid to be their true self. Someone communicates very harshly. Someone has a bad mouth or a bad temper. Someone has money ties somewhere. Okay. Someone is a coward. Someone does voodoo. Okay, someone wants to leave the person that they're with. Someone needs to pay attention to the signs. And someone said that our connection did something to them spiritually and they weren't ready. But they said, I never meant to hurt you. They never meant to hurt you, whoever this is. But confirmation on this voodoo, someone knows magic. Someone knows magic. You could be dealing with the Pisces. It says, I can't leave my boyfriend. Okay, we have red flags. Pay attention to the signs. Red flags. There's a lot going on here, Taurus. So you see all of this, but you're too afraid to be your true self. You're too afraid to say something about it because how strong you feel about this person or the connection or some shit like that. It honestly could be this voodoo or some shit. Someone knows magic. They could be doing voodoo on you to keep you stuck like this. And here's the sign, the red flag. Okay, I can't leave my boyfriend came out. Okay, I can't leave my boyfriend came out. Now we have I can't leave my girlfriend. So, yeah, it's a lot going on, Taurus. Someone is asleep spiritually. Spiritual slumber. All right, so somebody needs to wake up. They said get a couple more. I don't know what else they want to tell you. I've cried myself to sleep so many times. Feminine energy. So the feminine has cried themselves to sleep many times. Could be dealing with an Aquarius, someone with Aquarius in their chart. We have money ties and we have karmic ties, okay? Someone needs, is trying to get out of this situation. There was a bad decision. Somebody made a bad decision or makes bad decisions. Multiple partners. I do see multiple people. Someone can't leave their boyfriend. Someone can't leave their girlfriend. It's time for me to heal now. Masculine energy. Okay? But they want you back. So all of this shit that's going on and they still want you back. I don't know if you'll take this back or you want this person back. I don't know if they still going to be on that manipulation and mind games and shit. But someone suffers from anxiety and depression. I was taught to be this way. Yeah. Someone was taught to be this way. They grew up like this. So they can't even help it. It would take a lot of rewiring, a lot of reprogramming and shit for this person. We, we saw narcissists come out. Capricorn. Could either be dealing with the Capricorn literally or there's just a lot of toxicity. Okay? Both of you could be players. Or you are dealing... You have someone... Could be dealing with the Scorpio. You have someone and you're seeing someone on the side. While the... While... Oh, I, I told you Scorpio. Okay, so what what you say? Taurus has someone and they're dealing with someone on the side, but either the person they have or the person they're dealing with on the side, they have someone else as well. What the fuck? Okay. 
So I'm seeing, so it could just be a whole dating situation. Everyone's just dating around or some shit like that. What's going on in Taurus's love life, please? Now, if that portion didn't resonate with you, I'm pulling from other decks. Thank you, ancestors and guides, for showing me what's going on in Taurus's love life. Thank you for giving me a message for Taurus. What's this person's current feelings for Taurus? Heart-to-heart -heart conversation. They want to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with you. They want to express something that, you know, they may not have. Remember, someone said they were too afraid to do something. So very soon, this person is coming to have a conversation with you very soon. But you got to clearly decide what you want. Do you want to have this conversation? And make sure you clearly decide what you want, no matter the aftermath of the conversation, okay? Can y'all see that? I'm going to just leave it right here. Okay. Yeah, and the situation is calling for you to have trust. They're saying you need to trust yourself, though, Taurus. You need to trust yourself. Okay. What's this person's current feelings for Taurus? Could be dealing with a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Someone with heavy earth in their chart. <clears throat> What's this person's current feelings? Ten of Wands. They want to connect with you, but there's too much going on, too much baggage. You see how he's picking her up? This is just like picking up a bunch of sticks. You're literally picking up a whole nother person. So you're picking up other people's responsibilities, other people's bad habits, you know, trying to accommodate people and, you know, shit like that. I never got that message from this card, but how they feel towards you, they could be sexually frustrated, okay? Sex doesn't always fix the issue, is what they're telling me to say. They do want to come and communicate with you. Remember, we had harsh communication. This is the Knight of Swords. This is that motherfucker, okay? I feel like this person has to hold back from speaking harshly to people. They just do it. They just, they just, that's how they talk. They just talk harsh. And it's, like, tough for this person to, you know, not talk the way they do they're trying to come a little softer towards you that could be for just a couple of y'all so you could be dealing with a capricorn like i've been saying the devil card is coming out so some toxicity or a lot of lust this person is obsessed so their current feelings is they're obsessed as fuck and they want to have sex with you ace of wands okay they're sexually frustrated, ten of wands. They're obsessed as fuck. What's this person's current feelings for Taurus? This could be how you feel. Okay, this person feels defeated. All right, with the five of swords, you're not talking to them. Just a bunch of fucking mind games. This could have happened in the past. Because the knight of swords could play mind games too with the, with the way that they talk with five of swords. Okay, so this person is trying to trick you out of your panties or trick you out of your drawers or some shit like that. Or the reason why they're talking so crazy to you is because they don't know how to express themselves. They don't know how to tell you they're sexually frustrated. They don't know how to tell you how they really feel. Like, the reason why they're so upset or the reason why they're so mad is because, like, it's like, ugh, they're frustrated, you know? They don't mean to be frustrated. They miss you. They crave you. They want you. They're obsessed with you. They want to have sex with you, okay? And it just comes off wrong. They come off mean. They come off harsh because they have this tie to you. Okay, it could be dealing with the Virgo with the Nine of Pentacles. Okay. You could be single, living your best life, not giving a damn about this person. But all they can do is think about you, wanting to reunite with you. Okay. Clarify the Nine of Pentacles for this person's current feelings. They feel like you're doing... I honestly feel like they think you're doing better without them and that pisses them off. <laughs> Two of Wands, yeah. And now they don't know if they should come towards you. They're probably better off without me. Probably. I'm just saying. Okay? This person has insecurities within themselves, and it's, it has nothing to do with you. Like, at all. Could be dealing with the Capricorn, Virgo, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sag. What's this person... What actions is this person going to take? What's this person's actions the tower they're coming in to shock you or surprise you 
okay? It's going to be a shock or a surprise, Scorpio, okay? Could be ending things or beginning things. Why we have the Ace of Cups and the Hierophant. The Ace of Cups and the Hierophant and the Eight of Pentacles, they want to work on this with you. Could be dealing with the Taurus, Libra, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. They're coming towards you with the Chariot card. Oh, my gosh. So, here, let me move this. Or this could be a new person. This could be a new person. This don't have to be that same person. So, their actions are, remember, we had the Tower card. It's going to be a shock that this person is coming towards you. They want to work on this situation. Okay? They want to give you love. They want a solid, high level of commitment with you. Okay? What actions is this person taking towards Taurus? Yeah, Naval Wands. They're coming towards you They're to message you, to come speak to you, travel towards you. Got Cancer, Libra, Taurus, Pisces, Scorpio, Virgo, Capricorn. Scorpio strong, Aries Leo Sag. They're watching you first. This person, this could be a new person, or it could be, you know, the person we've been talking about. But somebody, whoever it is, somebody is coming to offer you true love. So clearly decide what you want. Because low key, I feel like this is a new person. I'm not even gonna hold you. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I know y'all probably want a past person. For a majority of you, it's a new person. I'm not gonna hold you, okay? It's a new person. What's this person's current feelings for Taurus? What's this person's current feelings towards Taurus? What are they hiding from Taurus? What's the hidden truth? Yeah, okay. I thought these came out too fast, but they because they jumped right out, but they said these are the ones. It says the timing just wasn't right for us. I replay our conversations over and over. Yeah, this person's coming back because they can't stop thinking about you. They replay the conversations over and over and over again in their mind. Okay, but right now, I'm not available. Or this could be you. I'm not available. Give me a random message for Taurus, please. And we're going to close the reading. So, these messages may or may not resonate with the spread. But these are random messages from Spirit. Thank you for giving me a random message for Taurus. New career. Y'all see that? Damn. New career. Fuck it. Okay. And then we have, you are stronger than you know, Taurus. Mm. You are stronger than you know. I love you. Check out your freaking weekend messages. Check out your Sunday spiritual messages. Check out your July messages and your end of June messages. Y'all be safe. Leave me a big fat thumbs up. Like, subscribe. Um, donate to our channel. I love y'all. Y'all be safe. Bye-bye.